Hello Stoke community, welcome to another Starbase UGC video tutorial. Tonight we're going to have some fun with NPCs and dialogue. Um, I'm going to show you a trick that comes, I think, closest to branching dialogue or getting around some of the limitations of the foundry. Uh, first I want to give a shout out to Lord of Pit. He taught me how to do this um, and I've been kind of fooling around with it. So thanks Lord of Pit. Keep, uh, keep sharing tips with us and sharing tutorials. Okay, so first, before I explain to you how I did this, I'm going to show it to you. Um, if I go through a step-by-step -step tutorial, it's going to take way, way too long. So hopefully I can show it to you and then explain what I did, and it'll make sense. That, and, and then you can recreate it. Okay, so here I am on a bridge, and my mission is to investigate, and I want to speak to the captain. So there's the captain. Talk to Captain Crunch. Okay, I'll talk to Captain Crunch. He says, can I help you? Press continue. And then three options pop up. I could ask him about X, I could ask him about Y, or I could ask him about Z. And all three of those show up in my mission objectives. So let's go ahead and ask him about X. And I ask him, and he says, X is blah blah scan the console for a clue. Okay, so there's a console and I'll scan it. Then my bridge officer tells me, Captain, the clue says blah blah, it's um, the butler with the candlestick or whatever you want to put in this box. So I say, okay, I have one clue. Um, let's go back to the captain. We'll ask the captain about why. And he says, why is blah blah? Scan the console for a clue. Okay. There's the console. I'll scan it. Then again, my bridge officer pops up and says, clue says blah blah, Captain. Okay, I got two out of three clues. Let's get the third one. Ask about X. Captain tells me X is blah blah. Scan the console for a clue. Okay, there's a console. And again, my bridge or my way team officer says, Clue says blah blah, Captain. And once I got all three clues, the captain says, You did it. I solved the mystery. There you go. And the mission is complete. And I'll show you how I did that, or I'll try to explain how I did that. First thing I did was I put things in the map. So, of course, I put the captain in the map, and he's right here. And there's a lot going on around the captain, so you may not be able to, dis to distinguish other things from the captain here. But there's the captain. I also put in the consoles. So there's a console, and another console, and another console. And then at the same spot that the captain is, I put in three objects. I picked volcanic flowers just because they're small. Um, really just pick any kind of object that's small and I put three of them by the captain. Now additionally since I did not want the volcanic flowers to show up on the map, I wanted them to be invisible, I changed their Y coordinates to negative 10 which put them under the floor directly below the captain. So there are three objects, they're flowers, they're directly below the captain and you can't see them. And that's really all I did. The story tab is where it gets interesting. So let me just let me just pull this out here. Okay, so here's the first mission objective. It's speak to captain. Then I picked the costume or I picked the actor of the captain, um, the Cation captain. Then he says, can I help you? And I press continue. So then the first thing I did, and I hope I can explain this, I added in three objects. Three tasks of interacting with the object. So interact with this object, interact with another object, interact with another object, and then I combined them all to create three complete all missions. And you do that just by dragging one mission objective onto the other. So I dragged all three interact with the objects onto each other. And that created this stream of complete all. 
And the first one was ask about y, second ask about or x about x, second is ask about y, and the third is ask about z. Then I picked different volcanic flowers as the objects for each of those. Then the interact text matched the mission text, so ask about x, y, or z. And then I added a talk neutral animation. And you can do whatever you want with that. I wasn't really happy with that animation. But that means once you talk to the captain initially, he says, can I help you? Then from that point on, you have three new mission objectives, and that's to scan the volcanic flowers. And if you hide the nature of the objectives and you say, ask about X or ask about Y, you can make it seem like you're not interacting with objects. You're interacting with the captain. And from that point on, everything else followed the different paths. So once I asked about X, I put in a pop-up just below that, and the captain picked the costume of the captain, and he says, X is blah blah, scan the console. And after that pop-up, I specified the specific console to scan. And after that pop-up, I put in a bridge officer that says, Clue says, blah, blah, blah. And I did the exact same thing for every volcanic flower. So after the player talks to the captain, you'll have the prompts to interact with three objects, but it'll be a conversation with the captain. Each one of those will create a different chain of events. And you can fill in these with whatever you want. You could put enemies in after you ask them about one specific thing. Um, I just did it repetitively over and over again of um, ask about why. And the captain says, why is blah blah? Scan the console. Then I scan the console. And the bridge officer pops up and says, console says blah blah. And once all three of those paths are complete, then the captain tells me, you did it. So let's just go through this once more. Um, so you'll have a better idea of what's actually going on. Okay, so here I am on the bridge. My mission is to investigate and to speak to the captain. So I'll approach the captain. He's my contact. I'll talk to the captain. He goes through his contact dialog. Press continue. Then my mission is to scan the three volcanic flowers. But I've disguised it where it's asking about X, ask about Y, ask about, ask about Z to the captain. And once I go through each one of those, followed by a pop-up, followed by a task of scanning a console, and you do the same thing again. Clue says blah blah. And when I scan the last console, we find out the butler did it with the wrench. The captain congratulates me, and there is my murder mystery, or my investigation, or my problem-solving hunt, um, or my quest that really comes closest to branching dialogue. All right, well, I hope that's helpful to somebody. Again, thanks to Lord of Pit for um, 
teaching us the basics of this. I hope that the video tutorial helps illustrate how to do it. Um, please leave feedback on the blog or the forums, and please leave requests for future tutorials. Thank you.